Good morning. <laughs> ah. What? Good. Still got half a bag. All right. Well, to to anywhere you think we go, like I'd pour it around the uh, diesel tank and everything. Okay. And you know, you know, right when we ain't looking, they jump on us. Yep. Killing ants. Yep. Fire ants. They are bad out here. Yep. I got, I got around the whole house. So. All right. See? Awesome. All right. So today. We're going to spray you see i finished going around the windows with the exo air so today's task is to spray the trimco window box if i had unlimited amounts of money i probably would have sprayed the whole exterior but structure you know doesn't really need it but just because but yeah we got our handy dandy sprayer that we purchased Back when we bought that because uh, we're going to be doing other jobs ourselves on the waterproofing just makes sense so we're letting that warm up we take a bucket fill it with water and a whole thing of dawn disc detergent so i just buy the whole a big thing of it pour that in there and now we're going to run it through and that lubricates the hoses and everything and keeps it uh, makes it ready to go and then when we're done we'll do the same thing we'll run another bucket or probably a couple buckets of it through to clean it out and have it ready for the next time. So, getting ready to find out if it still works. So that's all there was to that. Sprayed one bucket through it. See, it was still clean from when I put it up. And uh, we're gonna bring the green barrels in front of the bus. One of those over here. If it's as controlled as the tough and dry was, then we'll be good. I'll be able to just paint it without getting a whole lot of overspray everywhere. But if it's crazy, then Tater's gonna have to put up wood and kind of mask it from going anywhere. So that's going to be hit or miss. What's another word for that? Trial. Trial and error. Woo -hoo! Bring y'all a little action shot. Unlike when we did the tough and dry, this is gonna take two coats at least. So we'll do one coat, go over everything, and then we'll come back and do a second coat. Keep just walking around the house.
now that I got cleaned up, we can go back out and see how everything turned out, right? What's wrong with you? Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Made a pit stop by the ducks. You okay? That one, the female, she was hurt. You okay? She came flying, because she they can all fly. She came flying in and it's looking rough. You all right? Yeah, she ain't doing great. I don't know what's up. All the openings have been sprayed. So tough and dry is what we had used on the basement. And even though he just told me the name of this stuff, I've already forgotten what it is. So we shoveled back the stone. This is the underground hallway. It goes over to the theater or the unheated storage. So we pulled that back and I went ahead and sprayed it because we had not poured the concrete when we sprayed it before. Haven't had issues really with it leaking anyway. Uh, you know, with this area being covered and there's good drainage and stuff from here. Plus, this gets another layer of concrete over top of it to come through here for the driveway. But, you know what? Had the sprayer out, had the material spray it uh, no one's gonna be on it for a couple days so that'll let it cure really well and I'm good to go I did pretty good with uh, no masking tape no mask nothing just spraying right okay this is mostly just for the window bucks the wood to keep it from having problems in the future but Depending on if I was inside or outside when I sprayed, I went ahead and you know, made a round around, made, went around it once as well, just extra. Went ahead and sprayed the poles while I was in there too. So while they're still exposed, they won't rust. Might get up there and spray them. What do you think? Okay, well let's walk around some more then. Oh, I see. You're frisky. Almost crushed. Jackie's. Oh, I guess we're gonna drive around. <laughs> oh, some people ask occasionally, where's dog dog and stuff like that? So if you follow us, yeah, if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, that's where I'll kind of put quick little things, even more so than I do the shorts on YouTube. Not really anything crazy, just maybe updates. Um, I know a lot of people aren't on Facebook anymore. Try not. Some people try not to be, and honestly, I'm not on there a lot. I'm really on there 99% of the time. I'm just running the channel's page. There we go. Sprayed all this. This is ready for us to do our plumbing on top of it. All the radiant tubing for in-floor heat. And we've got to fill these so they don't end up getting uh, concrete all in them. All right, final thing turned out okay. This week is a wash literally, literally with the rain. Uh, it'll be enough rain to help out with the grass seed though, so that's nice. I've got a big project I'm writing a bunch of software for that I've got to uh, get finished anyway, so that'll let me do that. And maybe I can catch up on some videos and put some of those out for y'all. And that's it. And then the week after, do our tubing and then bring in Jeff from Muddy Feet. Maybe Matt will be able to come back. All right, so the current plan is to purchase a mud demon of our own so maybe he'll come and swap out with me on the this is a prototype unit one of the first ones he did so there's a little bit different bells and whistles on the new ones but uh we like it it's going to help us we've got 
uh, a couple of ICF projects, well, we got three coming up fairly soon this year that we can use it on and uh, you know pump these that up quick. So I think we're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, Just appreciate everybody. Uh, like I said, this is Memorial Day. I don't know. I probably won't get it out on Memorial Day. So anyway, just anything bright. But I guess I say hope everyone had a safe Memorial Day. And we're always thinking of those that sacrificed everything for our freedoms. You know, we, we hold that stuff pretty uh pretty tight, close to our hearts here. Uh every I've got family that has served in every I'm, I'm like lieutenant dan we got family every generation that served in every war going back to uh feudal clashes in england so i got a direct ancestor that was given some land from that you know so it's crazy but like i said hope everybody's safe see you in the next one